the music is a pretty strong um, influence in my life. Um, I play a lot of a lot of I play the piano and I play it a lot. Um, I got lessons when I was a kid and they were it was sort of classical well I didn't even get that far, it was pretty shit. Um, and it was just something, you know, mum and dad wanted me to do it so I just did it and you know, you're a kid and you just go along with it. Um, then when I started high school there was a a really good high school music teacher named Richard Isles, Dick Isles. <laughs> and he was really into funk and jazz and he was really I was into everything. He was he loved Billy Joel and loved Tower of Power and you know Buddy Bill Evans and a whole range of stuff. Really cool stuff. That's that was miles away from what your usual high school music teacher would be, you know, trying to instill in you. And he used to put on these awesome concerts every year. So once a year, everyone well, every every grade had a band. So there was year seven rock band, there was year eight band, year nine band, and as you as you progressed and the guys got more serious, there'd be sort of the, the year band, but there's also be bands that other guys would start and they were fully endorsed by the school. It wasn't like, you know, some some kids go and go play the guitars in a you know, garage on the weekends. It was, you know, you could you could do you could have a class that was just that you you rehearsing your band and playing in the band and often the teachers would play with you and they'd encourage you and everything so and you could play whatever you wanted and it was and so it developed some really really good musicians so when I started high school and I was watching these bands they'd be playing on school assembly and they'd be playing Boy from New York City or they'd be rocking out with Billy Joel Angry Young Man or are you playing some hard funk from Tower of Power or whatever? It like made made me want to learn it as well because it sounded so good. Because I was already I was I was already had it had it, I was in, I loved the blues and, and funk and anything anything cool like that. And so I wanted to learn it anyway. So I was started getting my dad was a teacher, and so he hooked up piano lessons with Dickie Earls, the magic man, the the high school music teacher. And the first lesson I went in there and he said, right, and I've been having lessons with a really straight, you know, 50-year-old lady and clink, plonk, clink, plonk, looking at this. And I asked her if I, you know, I, I wanted to play some blues piano and she gave me some sheet music, which is against pretty much the idea of it to start with. And it was, I learned that and it was just this really lame sort of boogie-woogie kind of thing. And so, it was, you know, play what's on the page. But first, and she kind of told us what to play. And the first lesson with Dick, we went in there and he was, I went in and he said, oh, what do you want to play? I didn't really know. So I cut off. And I thought back to the concert that he'd done with the, uh, with the high school band the year before. And I loved one of the songs, it was Billy Joel. So I just, I just said that song, so that was my first lesson, he just started to teach me that. And then he taught me the basic, well, the idea of the blues, you know, based around the 12 bars or whatever. And, um, and learned from there, so he, he gave us a lot of freedom, or gave me a lot of freedom. And I say us because my mate, who plays sax, uh, he, he had the same kind of experience. He, was, he just kind of let him play what he wanted to play. And, set him in that direction. And now he's one of the best sax, jazz sax players in Australia. Um, and I've still continued on as well. So anyone that this guy taught has continued on and kept up with music, which I think would be pretty rare for, you know, for a lot of high school, yeah. you know, people who sort of learn in high school. And so it's had a massive impact on my life because it's, I continued on with it and I play now to, I, play for anything. I've been, I sort of write a lot of songs and I don't really know what kind of um, player I want to be but I'm, I, I know when it's good because it kind of, it, it's satisfying. It's 
it's, it's tough to explain. But music, music plays a huge part in, in my life. If I'm not listening to it, I'm just walking around and hearing something in my head and harbour these huge dreams of you know, making a music out of living, which is damn hard. But um, to make a, music, uh, a living out of playing music, you've got to, um, I know you've got to devote yourself to it pretty much wholly. And that's a, that's a hard thing to do. Yeah. yeah. That's what my mate who is an amazing player now, he sort of picks up the sax and it just flows out of him. It just, it just, it just comes out. He just spent that much time with it. And I like to think that that's what happens with me, but I just haven't taken the step and I you know, don't know if I ever will, if I'm good enough <laughs> to continue on with it. So is there any instrument that you would like to learn to play? I'd love to be good at guitar. <laughs> I've tried, I've, I've, I'm okay at guitar, I think. <laughs> When I first came to London, I'd had no job and I was bored. So I just, I, I spent about two hours a day trying to teach myself guitar, just <laughs> chords, just trying to work the chords. I don't know, my fingers, I've got small hands. <laughs> So that I kind of I find it hard to get around the fretboard. I love to be able to play a really good guitar, partly because it would make it so much easier to play the kind of music I want to play, which is relating to what I was saying before. That going back to that big, open, spacious sound in a lot of Australian music, it's hard to get with a piano. Yeah, need a lot of reverb. <laughs> 